Hey guys, it's Rick. Welcome back. Uh, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Life's been kind of crazy for uh, for the last three weeks or so, but I am back today and what better way to kind of get back in the swing of things than by doing a pretty easy tag, I think. Today I'm going to be doing the booktube about me tag. I was graciously tagged by Jasmine over at Jasmine Reads a couple of weeks ago, so uh, sorry Jasmine that it's taken me um, so long to get to this, but better late than never, I hope. Okay, question one, what do you study or what is your job? I am a marketing writer, so for the company that I work for, I write uh, basically all the billboards and video content and website content or blogs or uh, radio ads or brochures or pretty much anything that has words on it, it, it goes through me eventually. So um, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's one of those uh, rare cases where I think someone gets an English degree and then uh, manages to to get a job that uses that English degree. Question two, what is my favorite social media channel? This might be a bit blasphemous considering that I'm on YouTube right now, but uh, I have to say it's Twitter. Twitter's the one that I'm, I'm mostly addicted to. Like I, I couldn't go a whole day without being on Twitter, which, which I hate saying that out loud, but it's true. Like I get most of my news that way. I talk to most of my friends there. Um, I think it's got the most intelligent brand of humor on the, the social media channels. Um, Instagram's really funny, but Instagram is fucking stupid. So uh, Twitter, I find is, it's a little more clever most of the time. So uh, I love Twitter. I would weirdly love to get off it someday because I think it's bad for my brain, uh, but I'd love to not eat cheeseburgers someday too. That's not true. They're bad for you, but I would, I love cheeseburgers too much. Anyway, question three, if I had another YouTube channel, what would it be about? Um, this is going to be basically the most unpopular answer I could possibly say on booktube, I think, but it's, uh, me talking about sports. I'm a huge hockey fan and baseball fan and basketball fan and a couple years ago I got into football for the first time so I, I kind of live and breathe uh, sports whenever I'm not reading I'm reading or watching something about sports so um, I've actually considered doing something about sports on YouTube but um, after doing the booktube thing it kind of it takes up enough of my time that I just I can't spread myself that thin I, there's not enough hours in the day so uh, maybe one day I'll do something with it going back to kind of what I do as a job I, I always wish I could kind of go back in time and I uh, have chosen to be a sports writer, but I'm about 15 years too late down the career path to, <laughs> to start that probably, but um, yeah, I'd probably talk about sports. Funny enough, I was talking to Matthew Sharapa the other day and he, uh, he called me a renaissance bro, <laughs> meaning um, I'm a guy who's kind of a guy's guy and that I like sports, but I also like to wind down at the end of the day with like a glass of wine while I talk about my feelings. <laughs> Which is like, it's probably the most apt description of me I've ever heard in my life. So I've been laughing at that for a couple days. So thanks, Matthew. Actually, that would be a really great Twitter handle. I wonder if that's taken. Question number four, do I play any instruments? Technically, yes. Uh, I played conservatory piano for about 11 years when I was uh, younger. From about seven to 18, I played piano uh, pretty competitively. Um, and then I, I stopped. I gave it up when I went to university and I never have officially picked it up again. But I would love to. I'm, I've been looking to find like a, a cheaper but nice piano online that I could uh, put in my house. But uh, I haven't found one that I, that I like enough at a, at a good enough price. Because I'm a pretty big snob when it comes to pianos. Uh, most of them I think sound like absolute garbage. And like I said, I grew up playing kind of conservatory music on really, really nice pianos, uh, unfortunately, so that's turned me into a bit of a snob where I maybe <laughs> don't deserve to be a snob at all anymore at this point. Um, I can sit down at a piano and still kind of remember, get a bit of, my muscle memory kind of kicks in, but I don't remember a lot of um, pieces specifically, but I think if I, if I got a piano, I'd pick it up pretty quickly. So uh, ho hopefully, who knows, by the end of the year, maybe I have one, but if not, we'll see. Sometime it'll happen, I'll get it back. Question number five, what hobbies do I have other than reading? Um, I'm obsessed with narrative. So pretty much everything that I do involves narrative of some kind. So obviously books are number one. The reason I'm so into sports is because I think that's the most natural form 
of narrative that exists in the world. It's a story of good and evil, essentially, with heroes and villains every single time you turn a game on, if you're watching it correctly and you, if you kind of know the story behind it. So that's why I love sports so much. Other than that, it's kind of movies and television are obviously a, a huge part of my life. Much less now, actually, than, than they used to be. I watch way less TV and movies than, than I did a couple of years ago, which is actually kind of nice. I kind of like it that way. But so yeah, pretty much anything narrative way. And then like, I, I'm, I'm in my mid thirties. I still love playing video games. I play like two or three different ones, essentially. I don't play very many, but the ones that I do play, I absolutely love. So, so yeah, it's all surrounding narrative for me, basically. If there's a story that I can participate in in some way, I'm going to be hooked. Number six is what are my favorite TV shows? Um, my favorite current TV shows that are on the air are uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm obsessed with it. Um, Game of Thrones, obviously. Um, what else? Uh, Last Week Tonight, I absolutely love. Um, some of my favorite shows of all time are uh, Carnival, um, Lost, Studio 60. Yes, Studio 60. If any Aaron Sorkin fans are out there, it's his best show ever. I'm sorry. I'm watching The West Wing right now for the first time, basically. Studio 60 is a better show than that. I'm sorry. It only got one season. It was canceled. It's so brilliant and it's so, like, the fact that he sets such an interesting Democrat, Republican, um, atheist, religious kind of debate in like a late night comedy show is so fascinating to me. And the characters on that show are just so wonderful and I love them all so much. I, oh, I love that show. Sorry, tangent. Um, also a huge Friends fan, huge Parks and Rec fan. Yeah, but seriously, Studio 60 is amazing. Anyone who thinks so is a, uh, should be my friend. Question number seven is what got me into reading? I talked about this a little bit on my, um, newbie tag video way back when, but I don't really know, like I don't have a good answer for this. The only thing I can think of that might be different than, than what I said in that video is that my, fa my father kind of um, was the first one to kind of encourage me to read, which is weird because we don't have that relationship at all anymore and he's not a very literary person, but I remember we read a lot together when I was a, a kid, like a young kid, and then when I got to a kindergarten, um, there was only a handful of us in the class that were that were readers at that point. So I remember they would split the class up uh, at a certain time of day, and the like five or six of us who could read well on our own, we were like shuffled off to one corner of the room, and we were given books, and we could just read what we want, while the rest of the class had to be kind of instructed and taught a little more. I remember. So I, but I remember like those like reading periods being my favorite part of the day and my favorite part of school when I went to school. So um, maybe that's it. Maybe my, my, my primary teacher um, may be responsible. I have no idea, but I, it's one of those things. I just, I've always been a reader. I've always loved reading as far as I know, which is actually kind of my favorite way to answer that question because it just always feels like it was a part of me. I wonder if my mom read to me when I was in her womb. I have no idea. That's a weird thing to start talking about. Question eight. What are my favorite and least favorite genres? Uh, my favorite genres are probably just literary fiction, some commercial fiction, uh, if it's good, because some of it can be not so good. Um, I love fantasy when it's done really well. When it's not, I absolutely hate it. Not a big YA reader. Uh, not a, not, I'm actually not a big sci-fi reader, even though I... I, I kind of think that I love the genre, but I don't read science fiction ever. It kind of, it kind of drives me crazy when when I actually read it. But uh, don't like mystery stuff all that much. Uh, thriller, no. Romance, no. Um, I don't. I don't know. Like genre, genre is something I never think about, and I don't even like classifying books that I read in genres because I kind of like stuff that bridges all these things. Like something like literary fiction that has a hint of science fiction and has a romance element to it and uh, there might be a mystery element to it. Like when you combine those things, that's what I really like. I, any book that's so set in one area kind of bores me, I think, at a certain point. So so I guess just a, a cornucopia of everything is what I'm really looking for, usually when I'm picking up a book. 
Question number nine, what books defined my childhood? Um, when I was really young, those golden books were huge. Uh, so a lot of fairy tales and stuff through, through golden books. Then I found um, Wizard of Oz, which I was obsessed with. And then I found the movie that I was really obsessed with it. Then I got really into Goosebumps. I was obsessed with Goosebumps for like two or three years. Like, holy crap. I think I read like 60 or 70 of them probably. Um, and then when I hit like 10, 11, 12, it was, it was kind of Terry Brooks, I think. And that kind of launched me into my, my love of, uh, fantasy. So, uh, yeah, before puberty hit, those were kind of the four main ones for me. Question number 10, tell us an interesting fact about you. Ah, um, I'm terrible at the, like I, these, these questions make me feel so bad about myself because I literally don't know what to say. I don't think I have an interesting fact about myself. Um, well, this is embarrassing. Um, this isn't, this isn't interesting, but I'll just, I'll just give you a fact about myself because I think it separates me a little bit from everybody that I know um, on booktube. Most of the people here know that I'm from Canada. But even though I live in Edmonton, Alberta, I'm actually from a tiny little fishing village on the East Coast uh, called Inverness, Nova Scotia. And there's only about like 1300 people that live there. Tiny, tiny little village. And despite the fact that I lived like literally a five minute walk from the ocean, from my house to the ocean, you can see it from my house. Um, I can't swim like a lick. Like if you took me and dropped me into a seven foot tall pool, I would drown. Like, I can't swim at all. So I don't know if that's interesting or that's just sad. That really wasn't a very fun answer actually. <laughs> now that I say it, uh, what's fun? Oh, I can, I, uh, I can cross like one of my eyes. Maybe I'll just do the rest of the video like this and just like uh, answer all the questions. Ah, lost it. So yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by guys. Thank you so much, Jasmine, for tagging me in this. Um, that was fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's really hard to keep it like that. I don't know who's done this tag or who hasn't done this tag at this point. So if you wanna do the tag, uh, be my guest and, and, uh, and do it. Um, it really hurts to do it. <laughs> so uh, Jasmine, seriously, thank you for doing the tag. Uh, thank you for asking me to do the tag. And uh, I don't think my, my answers were all that interesting, but uh, it was nice at least to get back on camera. I haven't done a video in like three or four weeks. So um, like I said, life's been kind of crazy, but uh, it should be smoothing out very soon. So uh, I'll be able to post a little more regularly um, in the coming days and coming weeks. So uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying your reading um, the last little while since I've talked to all of you and I hope you have a great reading week ahead. Again, my name is Rick and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh yeah, uh, if anyone wants to do this tag, feel free to tag yourself. Uh, I feel like the tag's uh, a couple weeks old at this point, so a lot of people have been tagged by now. But um, if you haven't done the tag and you think it's fun and you want to do it, feel free to, uh, to tag yourself and say that I tagged you.